Hello and welcome to the John Ark Show. Today's episode is called How to Vet Your Dates. Before we begin, I want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel for free. You can also like, comment, and follow us. We're going to have a lot of great celebrity interviews coming up, so make sure to click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time we post a new episode. Also, we ask that you post a link of today's show on all your social media. Now, let's get started. For those of you who are single now, I suspect you've come to find out how bizarre, risky, and uncertain the dating world has become. It's changed dramatically over the last few years, and none of it for the better. The question becomes, how can you navigate the dating world without being exploited or compromised by so many of the people out there whose entire single life focus is to make your life a disaster. There's a lot of criminality, creepiness, opportunism, and gold digging going on out there. So on today's show, we're going to help you navigate through those minefields by showing you how to vet the people you're thinking about dating. Now, I'm not talking about having a private detective vet somebody. That would be very expensive. I'm talking about some things you can do and look out for in an effort to keep the crazies at bay. So let's get started. You meet someone and you're thinking about getting to know them. The first important question is, did you approach them or did they approach you? That's important because dating someone you approach first is much safer than dating someone who's approached you because it reduces the chances that you're being set up or scammed by a pro. Next, there are some common sense questions you can ask. Does, does the person have a job? Do they drink a lot or, or do drugs? How many children do they have by how many people? Uh, the lower those numbers are, the better. Are they responsible with their money or do they just look at you as their next shopping opportunity? What's their family like? Is their family nice or are they strange or bizarre or weird in some way? Do they work hard or not? Does the person you're interested in place some importance on education or work or ambition? Next, look for signs of a bad temper. Do they have a random or bad temper that, that erupts when they don't get their way? Is health and fitness important to them? Do they go to the gym or exercise at home? How do they interact with people they don't need anything from? Are they polite and considerate or are they dismissive and rude? How and why did their previous relationships end? Did their previous relationship end well or were there some signs of crazy or violence or God knows what else going on there when, when that relationship uh, concluded? Here's a really important one. What do your friends and family think of this person when they meet them? Do they like and respect them or are they concerned when they, when they get to know them? In some cases, what your family and friends think of the new person you're dating is more important than what you think of them because they will often see them with more clarity than you will because they're not being blinded by lust. Are they religious? Here's a really big one. Do they have a sense of humor? Show me someone without a sense of humor and I'll show you someone who will be problematic down the road. What's the most important thing you can do when, when vetting or getting to know someone? Take your time. Getting to know someone well is a process that can take 6 to 12 months. Less than that usually means you're not seeing the real person. You're just seeing who they want you to see. One more thing. The best way to get to know someone is when they're under a lot of stress because that's when you're seeing, them, uh, seeing their real personalities, the real side of their nature, not just the side they want you to see. So with that, I want to wish you good luck and have fun. Thank you for watching. I want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel for free. You can also like, comment, and follow us. We're going to have a lot of celebrities coming up, so make sure to click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload a new story. Also, we ask that you post a new link to today's show on all your social media to help us get the word out. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.